Hello, and welcome to the channel, and uh, welcome to the series. I'm Zomont, and this is my little YouTube series where I play ARK and talk about random stuff. Uh, the, la the last episode that I did was uh, a reveal, and then I just did a bit of a filler episode that's... that's either it's going to be completely cut, or it's going to be produced as cut content. But, uh, yeah, welcome to another episode. This one, I'm going to talk once again about something I talked about the other week, and uh, this will probably be the last time I'm personally speaking on it. Um, I'm going to... Now that things have kind of calmed down on the topic, I've had more time to think about it. Um, I want to give my, like I say, just my final thought thoughts on, on this to topic in particular, and uh, that's the Steven Crowder and Daily Wire debacle. Um, as evident in, in the other video that I did release on this topic, I am definitely in Daily Wire's corner, and that much has not changed. Um, the thing about it, I don't... I don't think that this was meant necessarily to be an attack again. See... Something that I, I'm, I'm not because I, I did kind of two episodes about Crowder, but I only produced the one, uh, so I'm not. I'm a little cloudy on what I have said and haven't said. Um, you know what I mean? I, the, the, there could be things that I think that I've I've put out in public that I actually haven't released, so it, it's not out. But you know what I mean? Um, but uh, it's it's my opinion that. Crowder seems to take business personal. For for the Daily Wire, this was because that's the thing. They're, they're, in in this whole deal, there's friendship and there's business, and there's the two. You know, Crowder in particular, especially in his 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 uh, interview on the Timcast, he tried to paint it as this binary. Is well, wait a minute, wait wait, a minute. is it friendship or is it business? You gotta gotta. No, it's actually both, um, and 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 that is in the reason that this all fell out the way it, it did um, the because the Daily Wire runs as a business it's it's still very very much conservative it is very much pers pushing the conservative values and whatnot in the culture war they but and that's why they do themselves as a business they want to be the conservative Disney they want to be the conservative you know answer to Hollywood, right? To uh, all of the propaganda, to all of the movies, they, to the kid content, to the, you know, and to do that, they need to run as a business. Um, let's get my timer going here before I get going too too much. Um, <coughs> and and so with their model, like they, yeah, they, they are running as a business, full on 100% ca full capitalist business, which means that, in, you know, that they when when they're approaching stuff like this they come in it as straight as business which means they're gonna lowball you at, with the full expectation of a negotiation taking place they understand that you're gonna ask for the moon so they're gonna say way down here start off way down here so that when you're going for the moon that leaves more area for negotiation for them to get to a reasonable negotiation right um the thing about it is some people operate that, and, and I've dealt with that. You know, that's your people who really like to haggle. There used to be, in my local town, there was a there used to be a, a, a local card shop and collectible shop where the guy that owned it and ran it, he, he was a haggler. Um, and if you knew your prices and you picked collectibles that he wasn't entirely, you know, like, you, you could actually walk away with it, a, a killer deal. But likewise, he was actually probably going to rip you off a bit on the stuff that he knew about, right? Um, but he liked to haggle. And if, if you if you knew how to haggle, you you could at least end up with a fair deal. And like I say, on, on stuff that the, he doesn't actually know the value on, you could actually end up essentially ripping him off. And like I say, you, he was one of those... Because he was a haggler, you didn't feel bad about ripping him off because you knew that 
the the other person there who doesn't know how to haggle, he's going to rip them off, right? They're they're not going to realize that the first number he throws at you is not the number you take. <laughs> but you know, the Daily Wire that's that's the way. And some people that type of business rubs them the wrong way, and I I, I understand, but it's not a personal deal. But Stephen Crowder, apparently, it seems to be he seems to be somebody who does take business personal, right? So from his standpoint, and because it, it is like to to try and say that oh they're not friends it was just business. Look, they've all said they were friends for years, and now for Crowder to try and do the, a to throw them under the bus so heavily like he has, and b to try and just dis- oh well, is it friends or business? It, it, it was friends. They all said friends beforehand, right? So when for Crowder who takes business personal to come in and for to have the Daily Wire come, Jeremy come in and give him a low ball offer like that, especially a generic one. Like they didn't even take the YouTube thing, out, the YouTube clause out of it. Like they literally just gave him a, the generic contract. Uh, he he took that very personal, and and you know we're supposed to be friends, and you didn't even give me a personal a personalized contract, uh, a personalized starting contract. Like this is garbage. Um, whereas the, the 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 Daily Wire was like I say, they're, they're very business, and that that there is the thing that that like when. Crowder, when Crowder's team counteroffered and said, you know, we're not even redlining, just give us another starting contract. When Jeremy went back and 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 they took that too, like they, you know, the the whole approach is is completely different. And like this is this getting tongue tied there. This isn't going to be. Uh, a good fit. This is, you know, he's he's never going to feel comfortable here. He's always going to feel like we screwed him over in some way because we're looking to make money so that we can generate other content. But if we make any money off of him, he's feeling like we've ripped him off. So, yeah, like the it, so they they walked away and and like I say, and in, in the whole deal of it, because Crowder takes business personal, he took the whole thing personal. So so then when so he feels so basically it seems to me like for for from him from from the way the business went that was a friends off for him and at which point now it's all about friends now it, he from all appearances I don't think he actually meant to throw Daily Wire under the bus. What I actually like, like I say this is after you know the time has come by and I've I've kind of watched various videos I've I've seen Mark Dice's takes on it and all of his videos on it I've seen the Daily Wire's videos on it I've seen <coughs> Crowder's initial videos and Tim Cast um since then like I have have unsubscribed to Crowder and and that's the and for me the final straw is the phone call with Jeremy that's the phone because there was no business there was no negotiations this was a personal phone call that he and 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 that was the best he could come up with his wage slaves oh my god really like it's it's that's what turned me off of crowder that if he hadn't done that if that phone if it hadn't been for that phone call i would have had a difference of opinion with crowder i i would have still sided with daily wire on this particular issue that you know i don't think daily wire did anything wrong I I I understand Crowder not liking the deal, but I don't think Daily Wire did anything wrong, and just it. But I don't think Crowder's off his rocker or anything either. He's welcome to his opinion. But it was that phone call that's like, no, that you crossed the line. But for him, he's well. Wait a minute, is it friends or is it business? For him, it's business now, right? <coughs> he's gone, you know. He's turned himself cold-hearted because of how cold-hearted they were to him. And I think more than anything that it actually has to do more with Blaze and the way he was treated with Blaze and his contract with them than it actually does with Daily Wire. Like I say, I don't think he initially intended on actually throwing Daily Wire itself under the bus. I think he (coughs) tried to back it up in case it did go that way. But I think he was hoping to, by redacting that it was Daily Wire, hoping that Daily Wire would keep their mouths quiet, which, of course, they wouldn't. Like, people still suspected that it was Daily Wire, and it was still in Daily Wire's best interest to just 
come out full transparency with it, especially given their their honest position. It's like, well, it was a fair opening to go like this was just meant to be an opening bid. Was it low? Absolutely, but an opening bid is meant to be low. <sighs> And still for fifty million dollars, you know. So like, was it low? Did did we still think that we were lowballing? Yeah, but like, it's not like we were giving them pennies, right? So, um, and and Crowder too is his. Oh, it's not about the money. That's disingenuous. That is totally. Mark Dice breaks that down nicely. I like the way he actually because Mark Dice I do actually think is a fair person to listen to in this because he actually was more friend he, he's he's conservative he's more fr he was more friendly with Crowder because he himself he's he he's against he's really against corporate corporate uh, conservatism um which is you know what what essentially a big a Crowder was calling big con Right, but like big, but like Mark Dice is saying, well, the big con is what Crowder's selling that that he's against it. He was only against it, and when they walked away from the deal, you know, otherwise he's been in bed with them from the get go. He's you know like no, it was it was just when the, the the deal went sour, and the only way for him to save any any face, the only way for him to get any money was to do this to drum up up uh, membership for his new mug club, right? And, and like I say, because that's where I think it's his, what this was all about, mostly about. I think it was more about the Blazes con But with the Blazes contract, he's under NDA. He can't talk about the Blaze, right? But then along comes the Daily Wire, which is very similar to the Blaze. You know, they're both big conservative media corporations. They both do have the, 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 the this business savvy contract negotiation deal. Um, and, 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 you know, there were similar issues that, that Crowder had with, uh, that I'm sure Crowder had with his uh, contract with the Blaze that was it here within the, the Daily Wire contract. And so this was a way for him to backdoor his complaints that he actually had for the Blaze. And that's what or where I think like actual, his actual plan was. I think it was he didn't it actually intend. You know, if it came out with the Daily Wire, fine, so be it. This is just business; it's not personal. I think that's that's what he had in his mind, and that's why on the Timcast you see him do the try and paint the binary. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is, are we friends or is it business? Right? He tried to take put that binary because to him this wasn't that phone call wasn't about friends it was about business it's about like look I need to do what I need to do to save my business you guys turned my deal down so now I'm backed into a corner where I, all I have is the relaunch of my mug club <coughs> you know so and like I say he was angry about the blaze and the, his treatment there and you know so here's this Daily Wire that still Daily Wire contract that worked to illustrate a lot of the problems that he had with the Blaze contract and voila but like I say the Daily Wire come out full transparency and then that phone call and like I say that phone call is where he where he crossed the line to me um, I could see it in his mind like I say like like if I'm right if I'm correct, and he's the type of person who takes business personal, which he seems to be, then that would mean that the initial business that the Daily Wire and him had, the negotiations that fell through, he took personal, got angry about, and therefore I, we're, we're not friends anymore, and you know what? I'm going to use your company. You, you put me in a corner, and now I'm going to use your company to relaunch my mug club because it's the only... It's the best option I got. Right? Which, the problem there is that, well, the, the friend's off. Like, their initial, the, the, the Daily Wire's business, there was nothing personal in it. It was just business. Having a personal phone call where you're talking about your families and how, how, how was your Christmas that you then try to use to uh, make your, your friend quote unquote look bad is uh, that, that's not business that, that, that's not business that's and if that's business that's shady business you know like yeah 
that exactly. But anyways, there's my 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 timer for this video. So uh, I I think this was pretty cohesive and kind of stuck to the point of Crowder. And here we go. I think you know it was a good time. I think actually. But yeah, uh, if you agree, definitely leave a like, uh, comment, let me know your thoughts. Uh, please share and uh, subscribe for more content. And until next time, later. Doo -doo -doo.